Hey guys, welcome to this new episode of the Chivas Career Mode, guys. So first of all, guys, I want to start this video by apologizing for not being uploading, guys. I've been having trouble with my laptop, guys. It's not as uh, brand new as I would like to. Definitely need to buy one. Hopefully, um, hopefully by August I could have a new one so I could be uploading more. Uh, so yeah, guys. Uh, that's why mostly I haven't been uploading because my videos do take a while to kind of render uh, just because the PC or the laptop I have is not on the best conditions uh, but yeah we will definitely gonna try to upgrade um, hopefully in the next three months maybe if I, if I have the, the money to buy a new a new laptop or PC guys um, but let's get into the games guys here we have um, we were playing against Cruz Azul um, I tried to play the career mode on stream, but um, then I had a not recorded, so I'm probably gonna be playing again um, the um, the games. Uh, but right here is before the stream, uh, this game. So uh, we were playing against Cruz Azul, Carlos Cisneros scoring the first goal uh, for Chivas to make it 1 0. Uh, pretty nice goal. Then right here, we almost had that great opportunity. But we do the pressure, we win the ball back, we get the ball here, and we manage to put uh, the 2-0 in our favor. And Alexis Vega wasn't going to be missing that goal, guys, there. So 2-0, guys. Um, talking about Chivas in real life, I hope we start winning because uh, the tournament, um, if we don't start winning, we might end up not even qualifying for Liguilla. I think we are already in trouble not even making it to Liguilla. Uh, where we were almost on the top of the table at the beginning uh, so we were training some of our youngsters that we signed guys um, I know this is something that some of you guys requested that, um, that for me to sign players just like Chiba does from the academy you know player development may uh, develop the players sell them so we signed two uh, young players and we got that report about Luis, Luis Ernesto Mitchell uh, so it looks like he's not going to be that expensive. Hopefully the, he doesn't retire. I think he still has. He doesn't retire until the end of the uh, of the season. So if he doesn't retire, um, well, hopefully we could send him in uh, and bring him back just so he could retire with Chivas. Um, you know, I think it's it just, I don't know. I feel like that's what in real life is supposed to happen. Of course, it doesn't happen. Uh, we see Carlos Salcido playing in Veracruz. Uh, where we all thought he was going to retire in Chivas, or at least I would, um, but he is playing in Veracruz, um, which is funny because, um, you know, Carlos Salcido has a um, Chivas school or something like that, uh, well, uh, like an academy for young players uh, to go there and develop. So we were playing our second game against Monterrey. We get this great opportunity. Uh, we do sweat the, uh, sweat the goal there uh, to make it 1-0 and we were winning this game. I don't know why, but I find it so hard for me to celebrate with my manager uh, during the celebrations. I, I, I remember like FIFA 18, you could do that. I don't know if they removed it, uh, but kind of it's hard to do in this game for me. I don't know. I was straight to run where the manager usually, usually is. But sometimes I just cannot find them. Right here, guys, we do. Uh, they do a bicicleta. They get us in a nice counter attack. Uh, Goudinho couldn't do nothing there, and they do manage to uh, score there. Uh, we did made a sell for um, Villa Pando to come in. Uh, Eduardo Lopez was a little bit tired, so we do um, bring him in. Um, and then, guys, the game does come to an end in a. Uh, one one so a very nice uh, result in my opinion because one point is one point guys so uh, against Monterrey we were actually uh, equalizing this game uh, here is a couple of my uh, training uh, for my uh, young player development guys so uh, we were playing the game on Saturday against uh, Veracruz so uh, we were playing against Veracruz so on this game I do believe uh, we did uh, do a couple of subs just because I think we were going to have our next game during the week. So I think it's two games per uh, two games in one week. This one 
this upcoming week guys so uh you know the real it, it happens in real life as well so i do like that uh right here guys uh veracruz gets this uh opportunity uh the ball goes wide and we uh there it is carlos uh salcido playing with veracruz in this game as well they hit the post but then they get the rebound and they manage to score that one to make it 1-0 and we were already losing this game guys so something that we 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 didn't want to so we are gonna do everything we can to come back we do nice passes here we get the rebounds um i do believe uh chapito sanchez managed to put that one in the back in the net with the header so i think we did brought uh oh no that was alexis vega i thought it was chapito sanchez because i did play chapito sanchez in this game i believe because uh, we were having double weekend and we needed to rest uh brizuela for our next game uh so uh right here veracruz gets a chance uh for uh 2-1 but they miss it but we get another chance and we're not gonna miss that one guys to make it 2-1 so a very nice goal and there it is guys chapito sanchez number 17 um scoring that one for no other than chivas to make it 2-1 at the end of the game, they almost get this uh, opportunity to score, but uh, Gudino right there to save uh, save us from equalizing the game. So we actually managed to take the W2-1 in favor of Chivas, guys. So a very nice goal. Our next game was going to be against Morelia. And on this game, I decided to uh, um, debut um, the players that we got from our young development. So a pretty awesome thing here uh, we actually are gonna debut a player uh that we actually signed i do believe he has the potential to be a 94 rated player so pretty good player that we could be signing and selling off later on in his career so right there uh, eduardo lopez gets that opportunity opportunity which he ends up uh missing then Godinho saving us right there um, and then they take that shot that just goes wide no problem for Chivas and we are uh, still in the zero zero equalizer they do right here very nice skill move but Gudinho is in the back of the net um, defending pretty well then we get this nice counter attack something that I like to do is the this uh, like roll back um, we managed to uh, get the bounce out of the defense and managed to pick up a 1-0 guys so pretty nice goal there from no other than uh cisnero scoring the uh, one goal guys so something that i put on my wingers is like target man apparently that's like become they become like strikers how uh, they're close they get like you could say like secondary strikers and that's something i like right here the art youngster managed to pick up that goal you could see he's from the development because he has his uh, should have tucked in um, I think you could change that. You could actually modify how you want them to be dressed in the settings. I might do that for the next episode, guys. So uh, right here, we were uh, scoring the 2-0. Our youngster scoring his first goal. We do the um, low-driven cross, and he just puts it in the back of the net, um, scoring that one. Our youngster and our number eight. And I think the number eight is retired. I'm pretty sure it is so we might have to change his number as well uh so right there young man chip celebrating guys so um pretty pretty nice uh victory and we are gonna pick up the win so that there it is scoring his first goal as a uh, professional player uh so the game is coming to an end guys here we're gonna take the w uh so uh, we're gonna see what it's our points in the table guys before we end up this our next game is gonna be against Toluca But we're in first place with 23 points guys pretty nice uh, Pretty nice position on that table guys. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one Adios